do this. Oh, I forgot to say, um, oh crap. And I can, there. Ugh. Come on. So I'm feeling blue. Ugh. I don't know how well this is gonna sound, but I think I'm pretty close. Hang on, let me just. Have you been living underneath a rock for the past couple of weeks? Um, there's something called COVID-19, coronavirus, and it is awful. So obviously, a lot has been changing. I'm not doing A-levels. Found out on third, far, Wednesday that the next day, Thursday, is going to be my last day at school until I go to university. I know, shock horror. Ah, absolute nightmare, if you ask me. I'm a, I'm a wreck because I feel like I've done this whole journey and bada bing, bada boom. It's over. It's over. There's nothing I can do about it. I think one of the annoying things is, is, is that it's out of all of our control. It's out of my control. I can't do anything about it. It's just done and that's it. But to be honest, I was kind of expecting it. It just happened really quickly. And it's kind of taken all of us off guard. Like now, we have more holiday than Phineas and Ferb, and that's worrying. That is extremely worrying. Like who knows, I might have to get into like crocheting or like sewing and gardening Ugh. that's worrying me because i've i used to want to have like, so much time to do stuff and not have it and now i have too much time i can't do any of it and as some of you know uh, i'm asthmatic so you know i don't have a girlfriend i'm jo that was a joke but i don't uh, i am asthmatic and i don't have a girlfriend but being asthmatic obviously affects quite a lot of stuff it limits how much i can go up the house and it definitely changes the risk this light really isn't working today it's having a massive effect on everyone but i feel like it affects everyone in a different way obviously i'm grateful that you know we have nhs in this country i mean it seems like they're doing the steps they need to do it's weird it's very weird. I have never, never, and even my parents say they haven't seen anything like this before, so, you know, there's that. But also, everything is gone, but it's very sad. I have no idea what's going to happen with universities. Ho I mean, hopefully it's fair. <laughs> my BTEC's still going ahead. That's fun. It's sad. Okay. Let me try and describe the mood. So I go in as it goes down. No one's there. I have my last tea, and it's scary. It's terrifying, because I've never seen... It be lifeless. There's usually people in there. There's usually people around in you know, the college. So the place where I went, some of you are wondering, um, I went to Haven Sixth Form. Uh, there, there, those different buildings. I was mainly stationed in Minster Court. Mainly creative subjects. Sometimes gaming students are in there. Full of very cool people. Anyway, someone's always doing something in Minster. Crap. I hear a voice as if it was the voice of God himself. It was Mehmet Mustafa. <laughs> no, but I did hear Mehmet and some of my other friends like Archie in a classroom down the hall and they were getting a talk from one of our film teachers. So I joined them and together we watched, you know, as every, anyone would do in their last day, we watched The Room. Oh, hi, Mark. It was like kind of a last hurrah and it just felt mellow, mellow, mellow. I'm out with some more of my friends and we, we played charades. We laughed together, took photos. Because this, this may be some of the last times I'm seeing some of them. Judging that, we can't, we can't leave the house. We can't leave the house. Quarantine. Um, so. We just did as we would do. And I had a lesson that day as well. Final lesson. We were in there for 20 minutes. And we had a lovely last talk from one of our teachers. It just, it just felt like. I was running a race. This is me running, by the way. I was running a race. Yeah, this is a sick race, you know. I'm having fun running this race. Not winning, but get me places. Like running, kind of like looking at one side and I don't see that randomly there's just a hurdle that wasn't there before, but it's there now. And everyone tripped. Everyone's in the same boat here. Everyone tripped. I always, when I was younger, I was always like, oh yeah, I wish there's like a landslide and an earthquake and like it's raining and we don't have to do our exams. That would be cool, wouldn't it? If we don't have to do our exams. But now I'm kind of thinking, damn, I kind of... I kind of want to do my exam today. It was a weird feeling because I've never felt like this before. When it's taken away from us, we're suddenly a bit like, oh, I kind of I kind of wanted to do that. So it's a little tradition if you're studying TV and film that when you're not doing anything important, you make something, you get creative. In this case, we like to we like to make some stuff, some very questionable stuff that doesn't usually get released. We just make it pure fun of it. It's fun. Me along some amazing people. We thought it'd be a good idea to make a fight scene right on the last day, and we only had an hour to make it. It was fun. And here's the final fight.
So what does this mean? Am I going to university? I want to see myself in the future looking back at this and being like, it's all good, Max. It's all fine, you're on Hollywood. You don't have to stress about it. It's weird. It feels weird. I feel like I'm guilty to be off and playing Xbox, doing stuff that I used to do when I had time. <coughs> oh, I don't have... <coughs> I don't have the virus, I promise. That sneezing's not a symptom, by the way. Actually, here we get a tissue. That's disgusting. In this isolation, I have a checklist. Obviously, I don't want to show you all of the stuff on it, of stuff I want to do. But also, for the channel, this means that there's going to be more content. I'm going to try and upload twice a week, try and make more films, and also try and make more videos for you to watch when you're bored and lonely. I can treat you with my soothing, I can treat you with my soothing voice. I don't have a soothing voice. My voice is very annoying. I get annoyed with my voice. <laughs> um, but also, I'm going to have content ready to produce after I'm allowed out. So my tip for quarantine is do something you want to do and you never had the time for like reading a book drawing writing a script writing a book watching films watching max roach's videos and remember even though you're isolated you're not isolated i'm always here my instagram's down below if you ever feel lonely need someone to chat to i'm here i'm quite a good talker i'm talking to myself right now just proves it, it, it it's bad you know and none of us know what's gonna happen so thank you for watching the video i'm max roach and goodbye